Hello everyone, you are welcome to today's class where I'm going to be explaining to you how to restore the DVD rental sample database file on your Postgres SQL through your PG admin. Now, the first thing first is for you to have the file downloaded on your computer. Now, the default is that once you have downloaded it, it is going to be zipped on your computer. Then you move to your download folder or wherever you have saved that file. So now I'm going to go to my download folder now or the file I have saved. So you can see it here as DVD rental. Now, I know some of you, yours might not have this icon. Yours might have the Winra or the book icon like this one down here. Good. Now, what you need to do is first, if you have this yellow icon with folder, right? You click on it, you right click pair, you do pair on it, and then you just click extract all. You see, to give you this prompt to tell you that you want to, to select the um, destination and extract file, the default is going to be that same folder that you are in. Are you with me? And you can just leave it like that. Then all you need to do is to just click on extract. And once you click on extract, you can see it's open for me a new what it opened for me a new folder with the DVD rental file inside of it. Now you can see it as 2769 KB. Once it has 2769 KB, even though it is still um it is still in the um, extra, um zipped folder or form like this, don't worry about it, just leave it like that. Your own is once at 2769 KB, you already have your DVD rental dot star file. If you click on it, you will notice that it is what it is DVD rental dot tar file so just leave it like that now for those of you that have this um dvd renter in book four all you need to do is to right click pair um then go to where you have extract to dvd rental extract to dvd rental so once you extract to dvd rental you are going to have this same folder stuff with another dvd renter inside of it now take note, if it is 2769 KB, do not extract. I repeat, if it's 2769 KB, if the size is 2769 KB, do not extract. Now, so that is it. We have been able to extract the file. Now it's time for us to now load in that file into our PG admin database. So to do that, I go to my folder to all my apps to go and look for PG admin 4. I know that this place is arranged alphabetically, right? So I'm looking for um, P for purple, P for plantain that you like eating, P for potato that is very sweet. So now I have seen P for what? P for Postgres SQL. And then I click on the folder and I go to PG admin 4. Then I click on PG admin 4 and then it loads up for me. Now you can see my PG admin for management tools for PostgreSQL is already starting to what? It's, it's already starting to load up. So we are waiting for it to load up um, very well. And once that has been done, then we are we are good to go. Good. So you can see that the PG admin has already started. It's telling me to input in my password, which I'm going to input in right now. And then once I've done that, then it's time for us to now do what? To now open up our servers. So I move to servers up here. We can see servers up here, right? Now I can double click on it, pam pam. Right? Or I can easily just click on the arrow in front of it, bam, and then it still gives me what I want. Then I go to databases. So you can see everybody will have the same databases, Postgres, Postgres. Now, but I need to create a new one for our DVD rental database. So I go to databases, right click on databases, then I click create, right? When I do right click, I say you do pair. So when I do pair, right, I click create, then I click database. So let me take it one more time. I go to databases, right? I do pair, I go to create, I do PAM on database. Then I have my database dialog box. All I need to do here is to just input in the name of the database here, which is what DVD 
rent power. I can write it together. I can split it. I can write it any hour like it does not. There is no need there. Then what do I do? I click on save. I click on save. So I go to save and then everything saves. Now that way you're going to have your what you can see DVD rental connected. You can see it now showing there. So that's how you create a database in DVD rental. Now moving on, let's now talk on how to do what? How to restore the sample database file. You right click on the database file. You now go to restore. Can you see restore? Yeah, you go to restore. You click on it, farm. Once you click on restore, you don't do anything to the format. You go to file name. You now take your mouse down to the folder sign here and you click on it. Bam. Then it brings out your computer for you. Now, let's take it one more time. Let's take it one more time. Let's take it one more time. Now, you go to DVD rental. You do PEM at this right clicking. Then you go to restore. You do PAM. Or restore, then you have this restore dialog box. You go to file name and then you go and click on the folder sign in file name. Bam. Then it brings out this folder for you. You navigate to where you have your what? Where you have your um, DVD rental folder. But take notes, everybody. Change these custom files down here to all files. Everybody take notes. Change custom files to all files. When you change custom files to all files, you can see it brings out everything. Now I can go into that folder I had created before, double click on it, pam pam. Then you can see my DVD rental file is now smiling at me, looking at me now. I can now, which is the 2769 KB. I can now double click on it or click once and then say open. Then it's now showing inside of this place. I don't need to do anything. All I need to do next is to just say restore. Is to just say restore. And once I've done restore, it should tell me process started, process completed. Process started, process completed. If your own is not completing, if you are seeing error, restart your PG admin or restart your computer and take the process again, then you'd be, you'd be good to go. If you have done it before and it has been restored, if you are trying to do it again, it might be fail, it might give you failure. So please and please take note of all that. Now, just to confirm or verify that we have our DVD rental there, you go to DVD rental again, you do PEM, and then you click on refresh. This will refresh your database for you. Then you now go to schemas. You can see cast everything. You can see schemas. Click on schemas. Inside of schemas, you see public, and you go down to tables. There you have your tables. You can see 15 of them, 15 tables. If you have done this and you've seen all this, you should know that your what you have comfortably done what install or restore your PG admin sample database file, your DVD rental sample database file. So that's all for this. So if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to put it in the comment section. I'm going to respond to you immediately because I'm going to be following all these videos. So also, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you very much, um, everyone, and I'll um, see you in, uh, in class.